Hey guys, this is your boy Yashve Gaming. Well, if you're new to the channel, guys, please like the video, share the video, and subscribe. And also ring that bell notification. Okay, so in this video, guys, I'm gonna show you how you're gonna install an internal Elgato 4K60 Pro MK2 capture card and set up for dual PC. Okay, so this one, as well as this is my main gaming monitor, which has an Core i9 13 Gen paired with okay paired with an RTX 4080 while this one is a M5 Ryzen 9 7950X 3D paired with an RTX 3080 so this one's gonna be the recording streaming PC and on this PC I've, ins I've installed the capture card okay the Elgato capture card is installed right here as you can see okay and yeah, so the first thing first, what you want to do, you want to grab an HDMI. Uh, yeah, so that's right. So let's go. Yeah, if, and if you're wondering, what's that sound? So it's my thing, okay? It's my air conditioner, which is running right now. So, yeah. Alright, so I'm gonna grab one HDMI cable. So I believe this is like uh, I don't know what's uh, it. It says HDMI 4K, 2K, free port, whatever that is. Alright, so I'm gonna grab it and I'm gonna insert it in the Elgato in input. Okay. Right into the Elgato input. Okay, so once inserted that there in the Elgato input, it will go straight into the gaming PC uh, graphic cards, which is the RTX 4080. All right. Now I'm gonna grab a second HDMI cable. Okay, so the second HDMI cable. Uh, yeah, the second HDMI cable from the gaming PC monitor. Okay, it's hooked on this monitor. Alright, where is it? So it's hooked right there. Right. So I'm gonna connect it into the Elgato out. That means output. Okay. Okay, and lastly, I'm gonna grab the for this PC, okay. So this PC monitor, right? So as you see, this one, the gaming PC monitor, is this one. This one PC is this one. This monitor, okay? So this monitor, so you're gonna hook an HDMI cable to it, and it will go straight into the. If this PC has a graphic card, as I said, mine has an RTX 3070. So I'm gonna hook it into the RTX 3070. But if not, then you want to hook it at the motherboard I.U. Okay, on the motherboard rear I.U. Whether if you have a display port or HDMI. But since my RTX 3070 has an HDMI port. Okay, I'm just going to hook it right there. Okay, so far so good. Now I'm going to switch that power. All right, now uh, turn on, turn on, turn on, turn on, turn power supply, turn on power supply as well, press power right here, and I'm going to press power right here. All right, so you see we got the display on both. So now what? Okay, this one boot up the AM5 built boot up uh, on DDR5 6000 memory boot up like uh, less than 15 seconds. Core i9 Intel Core i9 13 okay 13900K with uh, two sticks DDR5 6400 and it boots up like 20 20ish. 
20, 25 seconds. All right, so what's that? I'm going to log in in each one of them. So what's IP vanish doing right here? Close IP vanish. Um, yeah. So in here, I'm going to go to display settings and I'm going to choose multiple display detect. Uh, where is the advanced display? Okay. So this one right there. Now I'm gonna go in here as well. So I'm gonna go into display settings. This one's a side. Let's detect that it changes to like. I'm gonna switch to uh, 1440p. Keep changes. Uh, 100. I don't know why the scale just. sign out or whatever it asked me to do okay we're signing back all right so both of these display both of the monitor turns on and they are hooked uh, via the Elgato okay Elgato using three HDMI cables all right okay so on this PC right here on the streaming piece let me close this thing quickly why the I'm gonna have to dizzy uh, like the startup menu for this one okay. all right so I'm gonna run 4k uh, Elgato 4k capture utility on this one and it should detect this monitor right there so here it says one moment please as you see and if you get no signal okay man boom guys voila so you see this pc desktop this gaming pc desktop and it is showing right here boom as you see so the source is what is it 2160 okay so now i'm gonna click this settings uh yeah bypass merge i'm gonna set this to like 1440p and then internal hit apply okay now let's try this one again once again and let's see uh, uh, um, yeah it it, uh, it gets detected as well here i'm getting your audio whatever that is has changed so Turn on this speakers and let me see. And let me see. You heard that? So, what I'm doing is I'm increasing the sound like this. So, that means it is working. Okay, the sound is working on this PC as well on the gaming PC, and right here as well okay so yeah yeah guys so this is the full tutorial on how we get or uh, how to set up dual pc okay on elgato internal capture card using any elgato internal capture card uh maybe if you have like i do okay 4k 60 pro mk2 internal capture card so this is how we set up correctly on dual pc okay